So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, I'm upgrading my current home Wi-Fi network to an enterprise level network from a company called Ubiquity. This is their Unify equipment. So it's a new line of networking components uh, that will help increase the performance and of course the control I have over my Wi-Fi network at home. So we can expect awesome things. We're gonna go over all the equipment and also the cool thing is they have their new Unify video lineup. So a couple of cameras that you can connect to your network for you to do home surveillance whether you're at home on your computer or from your mobile device if you're outside of home so it's pretty awesome we're going to go over the features over the equipment we're going to talk about the baseline current performance that I have wired and wireless and we're going to see the difference in performance that a uh, enterprise level system like this can give you so without further ado stay tuned let's go ahead and start the show So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's jump right into it. Let me first start by saying that I am not a networking expert. So we're not gonna go into the real specifics of each item, but one of the goals today is to show you that even a home DIY user can have an enterprise class system at home. It's pretty easy to monitor thanks to their Unify controller software that you can get either on your computer, on your mobile device, or through the cloud key that we're gonna talk about in a second. But essentially, why would you want an an enterprise level system. Well, first of all, your current internet service provider probably supplies you with their modem or router, and the performance out of those is usually eh, not that great, right? Because, uh, well, they got to save some costs and they're not the best units. So a step up from there, if you go into the uh, consumer grade uh, kind of products in your local big box stores, where there, there is a system that I'm currently using, that is one of the good ones, and it's a, it's a mesh system. So it's essentially the Ubiquity Amplify HD mesh system. So it comes with a wireless router, and also you get two mesh points or antennas that you can connect in different spots in your home. And essentially it eliminates all the dead spots that you get in your house for Wi-Fi, and it gives me awesome performance. By the way, I uh, reviewed the uh, Amplify HD router system, the mesh system on my channel, so you can uh, check that video out. I'll include the link up here and you can also check the link in the, the description under the video but uh, essentially so I upgraded recently to a one gigabit per second wired uh, internet connection so that's the download speed and 100 megabit per second upload speed so that's my internet service provider that comes into the house through fiber optics so it's fiber to the home I have a uh, pretty recent home that we built in 2012 so I was lucky enough to have that fiber optic connection come in so uh, I was looking for even more performance now and I decided to go in the enterprise class level again I'm sticking with you Ubiquity. Ubiquity uh, Networks is a company out of United States. They're based out of New York and they're known worldwide for their networking components. Now they make some top-notch stuff and uh, well their Unify line is pretty simple to use thanks to their Unify controller software. Again uh, that software allows you to connect and to manage all of these components very easily whether you have it through your web browser on your computer, on your uh, mobile app on your phone or your mobile device or even on the uh, cloud key gen and two. So this uh, essentially is uh, a miniaturized server that runs the, uh, the software on it and uh, it never shuts down if you're losing power. Uh, but before we get to that, let's talk a bit about the components. So essentially, the fiber optic connection that is coming in to my home will go through, of course, the internet service provider's modem, but we're deactivating any of the, those router or Wi-Fi uh, protocols that are in there so we can use the performance out of these guys. So what do we have? Well, first of all, we have the Unify security security gateway. Now this guy is essentially an advanced router and of course it has a built-in firewall so this is what it looks like. By the way all the uh, Unify components are absolutely gorgeous um, so they look they, they look pretty cool pretty sleek modern design very minimalistic which is what I like and very easy to set up. So the goal of this is to protect your network and its data. So it's enterprise level firewall. You can customize this of course and you get a lot of performance out of this. So essentially the internet connection will go through the uh, gateway. From there, it's gonna go into one of my two switches. So this is these boxes here. I'm having 
two switch eights. So these are 150 watt units because they're gonna be able to supply power over ethernet or PoE. Uh, essentially, I won't have to have power connected to the other devices that go through the switch. This is going to supply current through the Ethernet cable, which is very practical. So this is what a switch looks like. So this one here has eight ports. That's why they call it the Switch 8. It has PoE built in and it has eight gigabit Ethernet ports with the 802.3AF and AT PoE Plus or 24 volt passive PoE support. So pretty advanced stuff. Then in the switch, I'm gonna have the new Unify Cloud Key Gen 2. Now, as I said, this here essentially connects to the switch. I'm gonna supply power to it over uh, the uh, ethernet. And what this bad boy does, essentially it's a miniaturized server and it runs the Unify controller software for easy local management. So essentially you can, manif you can manage your uh, Unify networking and video devices simultaneously. It has a built-in battery that provides protection against power loss for automatic safe shutdown. And of course it has a one terabyte hard drive on there. You can upgrade it to uh, five terabytes. So essentially this allows you to store locally all your information instead of into the cloud for maximum security. So the cameras that I'll have to uh, do surveillance in my house or outside my house will uh, essentially connect and record onto this device and I'll have local management of that footage. So this is a pretty awesome thing. Next, from the switches, we're gonna connect some wireless access points. And these are the Unify HD antennas. So these are their highest performance antennas. And uh, yeah, these bad boys, you can connect up to 500 users or more. Up to these, uh, they have MU MIMO, so multiple user MIMO technology with beamforming. So essentially it'll be able to target whatever Wi-Fi device you're using in your home and target that signal towards it. Uh, it's a maximum theoretical speed of uh, 2,533 megabits per second, uh, which essentially on the 2.4 gigahertz band, that's 800 megabits per second theoretical performance and 1,733 megabits per second on the five gigahertz band. So Unify recently launched their Unify Protect lineup. So essentially it's full surveillance management and scalability. Essentially you can add surveillance cameras to your network. So now that I have this awesome network set up, I can add different cameras to that network. And of course, watch the footage through my mobile device if I'm outside my home or inside my house through a web browser that can connect to the software, which by the way, again, is inside this Cloud Key Gen 2. So I'm storing all the footage locally for optimized and maximum performance. And uh, so the two cameras that I have here today, the first one is the UVC G3 Micro. So as the name states, this is a super small camera. The cool thing about this one is it only needs power, so it doesn't need to be connected to your network. It uh, connects through wireless protocols. So if you don't wanna run networking cables in your home, this is an easy solution. So it uh, films a full HD picture, so 1080p. It has infrared sensors as well to film at night. Uh, so yeah, nighttime illumination. It's for indoor use only and it has a dual band wireless system. It has a magnetic base, comes with uh, wall mounts and of course a desk mount that's included inside the box. So this here is the uh, UVC G3 Micro. Now a step up from there and of course the uh, latest and greatest, this is the most high-end camera that they have, is the G4 Pro. So let's have a look at this one. So uh, essentially the G4 Pro is a 4K resolution unit. It has a super large half inch image sensor, three times powered optical zoom lens and integrated high power infrared LEDs for night vision. And this guy here is good for indoor and outdoor use as well. It comes with, again, all the mounting hardware that you'll need inside the box. And this one here has to be connected uh, also with uh, an ethernet cable. So uh, uh, keep that in mind, but this is a very high powered version. So the, uh, you have the option, the small one, the micro that you can place anywhere in your home, wireless connectivity. It's a 1080p image, or if you want the best of the best, indoor or outdoor use, the G4 Pro. So uh, 4K resolution again, and a huge image sensor. Both of them have infrared capabilities for night vision. And uh, also there's the uh, mid trim, which is the G3 Pro that they also have. They have dome versions. They have a bunch of different camera systems. So make sure you uh, check out these items. By the way, guys, to make it simple for you, I made sure to include the links to all these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. 
So now if we have a look at the base performance of my current setup, let's go ahead and check the wired performance and my current wireless performance with my uh, Amplify HD mesh system. All right, guys, so we're uh, on my iMac right now and we're on speedtest.net. We're gonna test the uh, baseline performance of my wired internet connection. So uh, we have my Amplify HD. This is my uh, current wireless mesh system. So this is the router. And of course it has a direct wired connection to my iMac. So the uh, base speeds that I'm expecting through the wired connection is a one gigabit per second connection through fiber optics for download speeds and a hundred megabits per second upload. So we're gonna go ahead and test that. It should be right around those numbers. So there you have the numbers. This is the baseline performance for the wired connection. Two millisecond ping, 939 megabit per second download and 227 um, upload speed. Okay, so now we're gonna test uh, the baseline performance of a wireless device. So here I have my iPhone XS Max, so the latest iPhone. It's right next to the uh, router. So let's see the uh, speed in speed test. So 422 megabit per second download and 178 on upload. So we're gonna go on the other floors now to test for the uh, performance. So we're currently uh, in my uh, living room area. So one floor down from where the uh, router is. So let's test the wireless performance here. So this is the first mesh point that you can see connected to the wall. So 145 megabits per second download and 87.3 upload speed. All right, so we're now in my basement. So this is the lowest level, the furthest away from the router. Let's test the wireless performance. This is the second mesh point. 33.9 download speed and 53.2 upload speeds. So now let me also give you a tour of all of these devices installed in my home so you can see how they're connected. Uh, the installation was pretty simple. So even though I hired a company to run the wires and install this for me, if you have a bit of networking experience, it's gonna be a breeze. Thanks of course to the Unify controller software. And uh, yeah, so installation was awesome. All right, so this is my office. So let's have a look at uh, the equipment that we installed here. So we have an eight port switch that's connected right there. And next to my uh, office, I have the uh, first access point. This is the uh, Unify ACHD antenna. So we're in my basement and as we can see, this is my second antenna. This is another Unify ACHD access point. So we have two of those in the home. And then we move on into the electrical room where I have the rest of the uh, equipment installed. So first of all, this is my uh, modem from my internet service provider. This is a gigabit per second connection, fiber optics. This feeds into the Unify security gateway. And then this is the router. So from there, it feeds into the first switch. This is an eight port switch. And into the Unify switch eight, we feed the cloud key gen two right there through ethernet and from then on from this switch it goes all the way up to the floor where you saw the uh, the first switch and uh, that's it pretty simple very neatly installed the performance is absolutely insane as you'll see by these next next clips so let's go ahead and uh, test the performance all right so time for a speed test with the new equipment so we're at the exact same place so we had 422 megabits per second with the uh, Amplify HD mesh system. And we're now getting 460 megabits per second download and 158 megabit per second upload. All right, so we're now on my main floor. So uh, with the Amplify HD mesh system, we had 145 megabits per second download speeds. So let's see what we get now with the new networking system. So as you can tell, pretty significant increase, 349 megabits per second download and 128 megabits per second upload speeds. All right, so now we're in the basement where we previously had 33.9 megabits per second download speed with the previous Amplify HD mesh router system. So let's see what we get with the new network system. So there you have it guys, 
512 megabits per second download speeds and 165 megabits per second upload speeds. So it's pretty obvious the uh, new system is kicking ass. All right, so the uh, Unify Protect setup is pretty simple. So for example, here I have my G3 Micro security camera. And on your mobile device, you have the Unify Protect app. You basically load that up. Very, very well done, super easy to manage. And uh, you can access, of course, all your cameras, regardless of where you are. So it's logging into the cloud key now. And as you can see in the screen, that's me guys. Hello. <laughs> so yep, there's the camera and that's me turning around. So you can have a direct access to your feed, of course. So uh, you can see here what's really, really going on. And you always have access, of course, to uh, your home security at any time. So very simple to manage. And of course the recordings are done into your cloud key. So local storage. So guys, one takeaway is how easy it is to configure the Unify equipment. So it's very simple to monitor and to manage the Unify network and the devices that are connected to the network. So whether you have these uh, switches, they have different models. You have the cloud key gen two. This is the networking server. You also have the security gateway or the USG. This has the router functions and of course the firewall. You have different antennas that are available. So these are the wireless access points for maximum performance. They have different sizes, different throughput performance, and of course, different price points. And of course, you have the Unify video or the Unify protect system that essentially has multiple cameras. So today we checked out the G4 Pro and the G3 Micro. So they have a bunch of different cameras as well. Again, guys, make sure you check the links in the description under the video if you guys want to check all this Unify equipment out for yourselves. By the way, guys, I want to take a moment and give a big shout out over to Spencer and all the team over at Ubiquity. So thank you for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. So this Unify equipment is absolutely incredible. It gave me the performance I was looking for and it's very simple and easy to manage and run. So again, thank you to the uh, Ubiquity team. So I want to thank you for being there. Of course, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Show me your support by smashing the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to continue to learn more about cool gadgets, electronics, and other cool things like car detailing, which I love, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way, you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.